My name is Aaron Chai and I recently graduated from Freedom High School in the Loudoun Academy of Sciences. I heard about the opportunity about two years ago. One of my friends did attend, however, and I heard about it from him and he said it was an amazing program. So I decided I should give it a try and I did and um, that's what brought me here. I'm Grace Maloney. I go to Freedom High School and the Academy of Engineering and Technology and I'm going to be a junior next year. What brought me to Genelia is whenever I'm in school, I really was always interested in kind of researching um, different topics in kind of the STEM field. And Genelia has just incredible labs here that I would love to kind of immerse myself in and also just talk to the different researchers here. I was always just really interested in kind of like learning more about different topics in neuroscience and um, machine learning. And Genelia has great programs and also just great professionals that really are experts in those fields. So I just came here to learn more about those topics. My name is Rohan Farik. I'm a rising senior from Riverside High School in the Academy of Science. I think one of the coolest things about being here is that um, everyone, all the high school interns are treated like real researchers and scientists. I can go and set up a meeting with uh, pretty much anybody here, even like group leaders of their own labs, and I can be treated like a real scientist. I learned a lot about how the collaboration works between scientists and how, how willing everyone is um, to share their research or their code or anything. I'm Fadima Khalif and I just graduated from Dominion High School and the Loudoun Academy of Science. I'm Maybelli and I am going to be a senior at Briar Woods in the Loudoun Academy of Science. I really liked how open everybody is about the work that they do here and how invested everyone seems. We would go at times and sit with random people at lunch and ask them about their projects and they were, they're always super excited to share what they're doing. I feel like our time here has really been characterized by learning nonstop, and it's been super amazing. Um, there are so many opportunities to just like go to a lecture and learn about something, whether it's like related to what you're interested in or not. Really, like we've been to so many cool lectures about anything from like being involved in science policy to um, being in like neural networks, and it's been really cool. I'm working with the Heberlein lab, and something about that lab that really interests me is Heberlein, who is the head of that lab. She works with like addiction and flies, so she kind of studies how the flies can become addicted, just the different behaviors that come with addiction. Um, but I just thought that topic was extremely interesting, and I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to work with her and also the other people, uh, especially my mentor, who's within that lab as well. In Reiser Lab, we're really focused on uh, understanding how flies perceive images and that means uh, understanding how the compound lenses actually receive the images and how that's transferred deeper into the eye. So uh, one very important aspect of that is understanding how the nerve cells connect the lenses directly to the inner parts and I'm really working on tracing that. We did not choose the Stern Lab Life, the Stern Lab Life chose us. We're, we're, we both really love our lab. Um, the people in our lab are like super cool. Um, and above anything, there's like this very like love of science that's like emanating from everyone in the lab. And there's like a really cool diversity of like projects in there. Everything from like evolutionary neuro to um, like trying to find the perfect antimicrobial protein. It's very collaborative and very friendly. I do not expect to, be, to feel as welcomed as I am. And um, they really make us feel like we're a part of the lab. We get a lot of interaction with different members of the lab, not just our mentor. So I really liked that aspect of it as well. It's always great to sit down at somebody's table who uh, you haven't met before and just really talk to them about their experience, um, how their career developed, what they're working on now. And it's just such an interesting program. Uh, Dr. Snap really helps us with this. Uh, he's the program director for the uh, internship. He really connects us to undergraduates, graduates, and just really helps us kind of see how our career might develop in the future. I would just say take advantage of all the opportunities that Genelia gives, um, everything from their food to um, their resources, because um, they have a lot of really cool resources and um, lots of cool people. So you should definitely take advantage of everything you can. I think that during the application process, it's important to find something that you're passionate about, because showing that you care about something will really help you fit in here. Once you get here, make sure you try to meet new people and get to know about all the different kinds of projects that go on here because there's some really cool research that you won't be involved in but you'll be interested in. Essentially, don't be conservative in showing like your enthusiasm for science and what you're interested in. Um, and the internship, like eight weeks, sounds like a long time at the beginning, but it's really short. It goes so, by really fast. Yeah, savor every moment of it and take that opportunity to like yeah. not be shy and learn as much as you can and yeah. interact with as many people as you can. 
take advantage of the experiences that are offered here. Like the talks are really cool and there's a lot of opportunity to interact with people both within and outside your lab. The food is really good. Um, there's a lot of good things about Jamelia. My Bob's Pizza. Do it. <laughs>